Okay, I'm now making a public announcement now. This is my public announcement that I want to make. Okay, this is due to the state of our government. And here, as we try to fight for, you know, fight against a corrupt government that's trying to take pensions away and fire, just doing the things just to fire people, the actions of our politicians right now, you know, we're in a state right now where, like they said, if you have a corrupt, tyrannical government, we have any right to fight back. We have every right to go against you know what I'm saying? Alexander Hamilton even said so. That we have every right to, to go against our government when the government is doing the people wrong. And here in the state of Kentucky, hey Kayla, what's up? That's pretty much what we're what's going on. That's pretty much what the state, you know, with the governor just doing what he wants. Even though it's illegal? Well, you know what? If he can do this shit, we can do shit too. You know? We ain't gonna sit here. Why should we sit here and obey the laws of this state and this country when the government is doing people wrong? So, as I have saying previously, like, okay, the kid, like Matt Bevan, he wants to get rid of the board members we got um, at the Kentucky Education in Frankfurt at KEA and replace them with people who he wants. And what that's doing is it's like, and then he's going to fire this commissioner and replace him with somebody that kisses his ass. It's like nobody's voice matters anymore. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a voice. It's like we feel like we're in... I mean, he's almost like a dictator. That's what he's in. He's almost a dictator. Well, you know, I have to say this, but... <clears throat> may not sound like what we want and what you do. I don't know. But there's going to come a point when we may have to just resort to anarchy. Meaning, okay, the government is trying to do what they're doing, like Matt Bevin's trying to do the shit he's doing, Trump's trying to do the shit he's doing, and as I was mentioning earlier, like for example, the day that Matt Bevin tries to make, tries to replace the board, the whole education, the board of education, well, the people that are on that board and trying to help, trying to protect the commissioner from being fired, well, let that be the day that they sit in, sit in their seats in Frankfurt and refuse to move. Refuse to move. When he's told, when he wants to sit here and tell you all to leave, don't take his shit. Stay. Yes. Don't do a damn thing that motherfucker says. If I was a commissioner, I wouldn't let him fire you either. He can't make you leave. What he's doing is unethical. You know what I'm saying? And what can the fuck he do? What's he going to do? Bring security to arrest everybody? Well, you know what? He does what he's doing right now. He can, can create, the, you know what? There's going to be plenty of other people he's going to have to arrest. There's going to be more of us out there fighting against what he's doing and refusing to let him do what he's doing, you know what I'm saying, than the people he's got to to kiss his ass and protect his ass. And you know what? There won't even be enough jails to lock everybody up. You know what I'm saying? What can he do? I mean, what can, what's he going to do? Treat us like animals? Is that what he's trying to do? He wants to spend all this money building jails and incarceration treat, so he can treat people like animals? That's what he's doing. That's what he's fucking doing. All they care about is locking everybody up. Locking everybody up that don't kiss their fucking ass. They want to build more incarceration. And not only that, Medicaid. Here are they making cuts to Medicaid, but yet they want to expand Medicaid to pay for more mental hospitalization. Meaning, he's going to put us back in hospital. You know, basically, 
while building more, basically building more jails and incarcerating more people, he also could be building more, have more hospitals open back up and wind up institutionalizing us too. Now, what kind of fucking government is that? You know, they, he really gonna he's fucking this state up. And what he's doing is knowing he is illegal, you know, and getting away with it. Well, you know what? We're going to do shit and just and not give a shit either. If he don't fucking, if he don't fucking, uh, if he don't fucking get a grip, honey, it's time to ship his ass out, you know? But until his ass is out of there, you know, we got, anarchy is the only way we got to survive, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to put up with his shit and, and do what he tells us to fucking do. No, we show do not. Like I said, I, I'm you know, they're not doing the government's not doing things right. So, you know what? The way the government's doing things, we're better off in a in a in a state of anarchy. Anarchy right now is is the best way to go. And you know what anarchy is? It's when there's no government, you know? No government, no order, no nothing. Well, let it be. That's how it's going to be. Keep up your shit. Keep up your shit, Matt Bevin. Keep up your shit, Donald Trump. And that's what we're going to turn into. An anarchy. And what are you going to do about it? Ain't nothing you can do. And you have bought it, you have bought us to this point. You guys have bought us to this point. Because we never had to think about this. When Obama was in there, we didn't even have to think about this when Bush was in there. Didn't have to think about it when Clinton was in there. Didn't even have to think about it when Reagan was in there. Even when Nixon was in there, didn't have to think about this shit. But no, all the stuff y'all are doing is just bringing us to this point right now. And if everybody's fucking, li if there's anybody listening to me, I want everybody's opinion on this, you know? I know there's got to be some kind of government to take care of everything, but right now the government's doing us wrong. So it's time to fight back. It's time to rebel. Don't take the shit. You know, I can't stop you. You know, like I said, I'm going out there in Texas praying. You come by, I'm, by, I'm liable, like I said, cuss, cuss Matt Bevin's ass out. You know, so I don't know if I should go, but. I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit of people out there cussing his ass out. Man, him one. <laughs> but, yeah, I may sound a little crazy. Yeah, I am crazy, but I feel like I'm making some sense right now because we can't live like this. And we can't let everything get worse than what it is. So I really want to hear from everybody on this. On this and I will talk to everybody later.